what's going on guys back with another video it's a beautiful Sunday here in Florida I just got done with my yard work but I want to share an experience with you guys I went to a yard sale it was either last weekend I believe it was the weekend before so probably about two weeks ago now but I was walking around the yard sale and I saw these three hats in a pile it was like two mobile 76 gasoline hats and then a blue angels hat I'll show you guys the listing here in a minute but uh, I walked past them and I looked around the yard sale for some other stuff and then I came back to them and then I decided to look up the gasoline hats and I saw a lot of the mobile 76 vintage hats selling for like 20 to 30 dollars each so I was like alright I'll pick these up and maybe I can get 30 40 bucks for the lot of three so I was excited about it I mean it was just a regular pickup at a regular yard sale I didn't even think much of it and I think I made a video and in the video I'm not sure what I said I thought I could sell them for but anyway check check this out I listed them last week five-day auction they sold for unbelievable twenty six hundred dollars are you kidding me we had like 60 watchers i was just getting bids every day i started the bidding at 39.99 and it just like i got a bid immediately and then it was just like boom 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 one after the one after the other so obviously there's something about these hats that are super special that i miss but of course as soon as the sale's over i get a message from the winning bidder Please cancel the sale, I'm a newbie. <laughs> so why did you bid $2,600 on something if you're new to eBay and you don't even know what you're doing? And then that guy was the winning bidder for like the last 24 hours. Did he text, did he message me in that 24 hour period to tell me the same thing so I could cancel his bids? No, he didn't, of course not. So the winning bidder didn't pay. I relisted the item, so we're in the middle of the second auction, it ends tomorrow. So check out where we are currently. So as you can see, I started that listing again a couple days ago, and due to the way that the first auction went, I started the bid at $799 this time, as opposed to $39.99. I got a bid in like 12 hours or something, and then now it's got multiple bids and 26 watchers, as you can see. So obviously, I'll let you guys know what it sells for on the back end, but this is the best yard sale flip I've ever had. I've probably bought thousands of items at yard sale, and prior to this, my best yard sale find was like this handmade vintage audio amplifier for like high-end sound equipment and they were really rare and really good brand hard to find made by a certain guy that hand built these high-end amplifiers i got that for ten dollars at a yard sale and sold it for six hundred and sixty dollars so that was my best and that was about two years ago so that was my best flip up until now these hats are going to be my best flip so guess what i paid for these hats guys two dollars i took them up to the to the table at the yard sale and I said how much for the hats he said two bucks for all three and I was like sold you know because in my mind I thought they were worth about 40 bucks so it would have been a good quick flip but man I was never expecting this so super stoked excited to see what it ends at I've already had people offer me twelve hundred dollars to end the listing so they could buy it now so I'm sure it's gonna go for well over a thousand and hopefully it gets back up closer to two thousand like the like the last auction with the non-paying bidder but we'll see how it goes and I'll keep you guys in the loop so the hat's in in a few hours. We got a few more bids overnight. The, the winning bidder now is at $870. It's about 10 in the morning. There's about three hours left in the auction. So it should be interesting to see what the final sale price will be. I'll definitely fill you guys in. Okay guys, here we are. We're closing in on the end here. Six minutes, 53 seconds. As of like a half hour ago, the bid was at like 900. But we just had a big run of bids. We're up to 1525 for the three hats. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, we got a little bit of time left, so we'll see what happens here at the end. All right, guys, so check this out. This has been really exciting to have these hats and watch these auctions go, but it's been equally as frustrating. This auction ended at $1,750. Right after that, I get a cancellation request from the buyer. He's from Malaysia. He asked me to cancel the, the sale. He said that it was too much money, even though he placed that bid. And then he offers me $800 for the hats that he just bid $1,750 on. He outbid all these other buyers that would have potentially paid. And then here we are stuck again. We've ran two auctions and we have nobody that's paid yet. And they're just basically playing games with me. So what I've done at this point is I relisted the hats for $1,999. Buy it now because the first auction ended at 17. I'm sorry. The first auction ended at around $2,600. And then the second one ended at $1,750. So I'm thinking 1999, I listed them like that. This was all yesterday. 
I already have 17 watchers, so I know the hats are gonna sell. I have active um, offers up to $1,200. I'm really hoping to get 15 plus. I actually sent an offer out of 1,500, hoping somebody might accept that. But I'll keep you guys updated. I'm not gonna post this video until the hats actually sell and we can get some finality to the situation. I failed to mention earlier how I handled the situation when I got the cancellation request. As soon as I got the cancellation request, I messaged that buyer back, asked him why he wanted to cancel, and he told me that the item cost too much money and he could offer me up to 18, oh, I'm sorry, up to $800. I said, that's very disrespectful. I don't appreciate that you bid up the auction and now you're saying you want to cancel and you're offering me half the sale price. Right after I sent that message, I immediately added him to my blocked bidder list. So if you ever encounter somebody like this, make sure you immediately add him to the blocked bidder list. So now he'll no longer see my items or be able to bid on my items. So he's out of my life and I canceled that sale. I'm not gonna give him a chance to barter with me. I'm not gonna go back and forth with somebody that even acts like that on the platform. I should maybe take the time to report him or do something like that, but honestly, I just wanted out of my life, move on, I blocked him. So it is what it is. So a quick update on the hats. I had the listing up for three days at $2,000 by it now. I kept getting a bunch of offers like around $1,000, $800. Some people were even offering me low ball offers. So they were up for like three days, they didn't sell. I had like 24 watchers at a $2,000 asking price, right? Um, if I was patient enough, I probably could wait, but I really am tired of getting messages from these same buyers and stuff. Like I've never had so much activity on an item than these hats that haven't sold quickly, you know? So this is like my fourth time listing them. I ran the two auctions, I ran the buy it now. Now I'm just running another auction again. I started at $7.99 yesterday evening and it already has several bids and a bunch of watchers. And we're up to 1,056. The winning bidder has one feedback, so hopefully that guy actually is serious and is gonna pay if he does win the item. But we'll see what happens on this go round. So I'm running that auction for the third time. We got a couple hours left on the auction. The bid's at over $1,100 right now. So I'll take a screenshot when we get closer to the end and I'll let you guys know what the final sale price is. So thankfully that's finally over. We actually got a successful sale. The person paid a few minutes after the auction ended. Um, it was somebody that's been messaging me over like the past week as this whole debacle has been going on with these multiple listings. This person has made me an offer a couple times, but so have several other people. And there was just so much interest in the item that I wanted to run it as, an, as a successful auction, just to make sure that we were capitalizing and get the most out of such a unique item. But it was great, we got $1,206. The biggest offer I got anybody messaged me was $1,200. So I think we got the really top end of the value there. I think the other people in the previous auctions were running the price up in hopes to get a better price on the back end or just tie the item up and maybe shoot me offers from other accounts or something. I'm not sure what their uh, end game was or what their plan was, but as soon as those people didn't pay, I would block them so they wouldn't be able to bid on the next auction. So if you ever run into these impossible buyers or someone's giving you an extremely hard time, I'm not sure exactly how to get into it through eBay, but if you go to Google and just Google eBay block bidders list, you'll get an eBay link that will take you right to the page you need to go to and you can at you can make a list of bidders that you don't want to allow to bid on your items anymore. This will save you a lot of headache and you, if somebody gets really upset, you know, they could sabotage your store by buying items and not paying or buying something expensive and then returning it at a later date claiming it was an item as not as described. So if you find these buyers that tend to be extremely difficult and extremely rude, make sure you block those people. You don't want those people in your life and I'd rather hold on to an item a couple of weeks longer and sell it to a reasonable person than get rid of it today to an unreasonable person that's gonna create a little bit of havoc on the back end. But this was a great sale. This is my best sale ever, my best flip ever. I can't even think in recent memory items I've made over a thousand dollars profit on. That's like a unicorn item. It's very, very rare. This was an exceptional case and I'm glad I could share with you guys. So don't count things out when you're out there sourcing. And the crazy thing was I walked by these hats and then I came back and looked them up. So don't ever judge a book by a cover. 
Don't ever think things aren't valuable because they look a little dirty and old. And even on these hats, the, uh, the interior lining was dry and deteriorating. I wrote that in the listing so the buyers know that. And I've sold hats like that in the past and I haven't got returns as long as I disclose that in the listing. So yeah, just keep all that in mind when you're out there sourcing and maybe you'll find a banger for yourself. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna keep making more content like this. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Like this video if you thought it was as cool as I did. And until next time, peace.